peace beautiful beings welcome back to another vlog this vlog i filmed over the span of like a week and a half maybe even two weeks so you're gonna see lots of different things going on it'll definitely be a good time because it always is really quickly this vlog is sponsored by epidemic sound epidemic sound is where i get all of my music for every single one of my videos. Epidemic Sound has copyright free music that is guaranteed to stay copyright free. So when you're on YouTube and you're creating videos or you're, or you're creating anything and you look up the copyright free library on YouTube or somewhere like that, that is copyright free music for the time being. But if any one of those independent artists signs a contract and they copyright their material, your material can now be flagged and it can get your channel taken down, get consequences with other platforms whatever their copyright laws are so you want to keep yourself protected and you want to use music that you know for a fact you have permission to use so i signed up with epidemic sound like over a year ago because it is wonderful it's the best decision i've ever made for my youtube channel and so thank you for sponsoring this video epidemic if y'all want to try epidemic sound out for yourselves i have a link below all right on to the vlog enjoy Beautiful beings, I hope you're all having a great day. I am gonna give you a little garden update. We're just basically doing a lot of housework today. We have gotten our bedroom converted from a carpeted floor to a wooden floor, which is very exciting. Uh, the installer is actually gonna come back tomorrow and install all the rest of the trim and try to make it look as pretty as possible because one thing we learned with this is you do pay get what you pay for because <laughs> we quoted a few people that were going to install the floor for us and they were just like triple the amount of the guy that we ended up finding but the guy that we ended up finding did like a mediocre job at installing the floor so that's what happened you can't cut corners when it comes to certain things like that but um anyway the floor still looks good and one day we'll be millionaires and we'll just redo the whole house anyway <laughs> okay let me show you the garden things have progressed very quickly my carrot is finally getting blossoms super exciting and there's my little flower bush. And these are my two watermelon plants that survived. This one is thriving. As you all know, watermelons are a viney plant, so it needs a big patch in the ground to grow. I've gotta put it somewhere even though it won't survive the winter. Strawberry plants are doing much better than they were, and it looks like they're getting a little eaten up by something. <laughs> Moringa tree is doing better than ever in this pot. It really loves this bigger pot. And here are my seedlings that should not be in seedling trays anymore. I know, I know, I know. We have to get started on our raised beds next week so that we can put them all in. But here's the black corn. Three stalks made their way up. Two kales have made their way up. One of the kales didn't really do too well. And we still have nothing from the black beans. This tray is doing really well. All four tomatoes, all four zucchinis are sprouting. There's a little baby in there. All of the cucumbers are doing really well. Gotta put these somewhere because they're not gonna survive in these seedling trays. And my elephant ear plant is doing well. It seemed to start to lean really low, so I just tied a piece of hemp to help support it. The baby leaf is doing really well, and now there's the roots coming out. So it's about time I put this in a bigger pot or in the ground. Here are the potatoes, look at them doing so well this one i had to tie with a piece of hemp as well because it was starting to lay down they're getting so tall so quick two in there there's some babies coming up two in here and it looks like there are about four in here and comment below if you know what's eating my potato leaves it hasn't touched the other two plants but someone definitely came and had some breakfast and there's a baby and another baby over there and everyone is doing so well it's so unbelievably exciting to see something go from a little brown dot, a seed, into a plant, and I might freak out when I finally get to harvest a vegetable. Even if it's only one vegetable, one tomato, one zucchini this fall. Just please. <laughs> 
<laughs> I will be so happy. So our next outdoor project is making this dirt patch into a pollinator garden. Many of you might be aware we're losing our population of bees and butterflies and these insects are crucial to human life. It's crucial to us having food and so it's really important and great when you can support pollinators in any way. So one way to do that is to not kill bees when you see them or butterflies. Make sure that they're taken care of. If you see a bee that's really tired and it's sort of like just laying on your windowsill or something, you can give it sugar water to help it sort of get some more energy to be able to make it to a new place and then you can plant flowers that the butterflies and the birds and the bees enjoy that will help them stay strong and energized during their pollinating season so it's best to have pollinating plants from April all the way into the fall because you have many different species of bees and different species of butterflies that will circulate in the land and come and get some food and keep on rolling so we're excited this circle of rocks here here was here when we moved in it was just a big circle of boulders that was full of weeds and plants and you could tell there was probably like a couple of ornamental plants that the previous owners had in there and it was probably a really nice patch of plants at one point but now it was just a chunk of weeds so Matt and I worked so hard one day it took us an entire day to gut out this whole thing of weeds so that we can plant some flowers in there and I mean we were doing it by hand we don't have any fancy machines I wish we had an automatic tiller or a cultivator but we don't so we were just doing it all by hand with the with the handheld tiller and we don't have a wheelbarrow so we were just putting all the dirt on a tarp and dragging it into the woods it was work but we made it happen and today we got those flowers we only got a few grown-up flowers because we actually have some seeds here so we got some seeds for the butterflies and birds, honey source, help for the honeybees, and a mixture for a bunch of different bee species. We also got milkweed because I read in National Geographic that milkweed is their preferred foods. We also got this really cool bee house. This way the bees have a place to stay when they are at the Chateau Earth Mama. So our project today is to use this handheld tiller and sort of work up the dirt a little bit more and make sure that we got all the grass roots and weed roots out of there and then we're gonna mix in some good topsoil and I have a few more bags on the deck so that this will be a little bit more healthy introduce some good nutrients into the dirt and then we will plant these babies so that the bees know it's like safe to start coming over here or just so that they know this is a friendly place once we put the plants out I went inside and I saw a butterfly land on one of the flowers it was so exciting hotel is installed and in here there are some bamboo pieces and inside here will be some bee babies looking real cute looking real cute and now for the rest I would have needed to get like 30 bags of soil to make any bit of difference. So I'm basically just using it for the fertilizer and nutrients that are in that soil. So I just sort of raked it in with the dirt that's already in there. And then maybe this weekend I'll go get a lot more topsoil and put it all over to make it look nice and be a little bit more nourished. But for now, I'm just gonna add some water and plant these flowers. Alrighty, so all of our teenagers have been planted. Bee house is looking beautiful. And now I am going to throw all of the seeds out and rake it over one time so the seeds can get a little bit in the dirt and then give everything water and it'll be done. A 
all done. Be sweet, Indy. Indy, no biting. Indy. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's it, she doesn't like it anymore. Okay, 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 relax. Come here, come here, come here. Did you make progress? <laughs> Back to the nap. Sit. Good girl. Hello, hello, it is a beautiful new day. I think the last thing I showed you was the garden update. So let me show you another garden update because it's been two, maybe three days since I filmed that. Allow me. So I am getting ready to replant the things that are in the seedlings because they're just getting way too big and I have these pots that I have left over from the garden over there. I accidentally left the seedlings out in the storm yesterday so now they're all exposed because the dirt went everywhere when it rained so i gotta save these corns and these kales but all the squash and tomatoes are doing wonderfully potatoes are doing great except for this one that the leaves have been completely eaten on this part this one had a good chunk eaten out of it and i finally found the culprit this guy and it looks like he ate himself to death. Unless my potatoes are poisonous. <laughs> yeah, he didn't make it. So I'm gonna repot those plants and then I'm gonna go to the dollar store when I go to take the rest of my Earth Mama orders to the post office and grab just a couple of cheap pots that are bigger to transfer a couple of the other plants that are getting too big for their pots. So it'll be a nice little day of gardening and work and new things because we got some presents in the mail. Let me show you. Dun 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 dun, on a sleep. The futon shop. So the futon shop hooked us up with a brand new bed. That's the mattress topper, I think. This is the mattress. It's huge. It's a king size mattress. And upstairs we got the frame. It's just a wooden platform frame and then these are the slats. It looks kind of small, but I know it's not. So we'll see how that works out. Speaking of new things, this is a present from Fruits and Roots, which is a company that delivers tropical rare fruits. So let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Peace below, there's a list of the fruit that you guys have in your box. We really hope you enjoy Mama Earth's gifts. Oh my God. Jackfruit, mame, sugar apple, sapodilla. <gasps> Egg fruit, oh my god, I've never tried egg fruit. Black sapote, never tried black sapote. Pink guava, I've had. Sprouted coconut, I've never tried. Gnap and mango, oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Sal and Jess. You are the best. I am so happy I could cry. Let us see. <gasps> oh, what's this? Looks like some Irish moss. Oh yeah, it looks like a sea moss gift, thank you. <gasps> Barrel bananas. Oh my god, look at this. It's a sprouted coconut. I've always wanted to try one of these. How cool is that? What is this? <gasps> a big mango. Holy crap, this thing is heavy. Let me lay everything out. I can probably plant this. All right, here we are. So we have some pink guava. They smell delicious and they'll be ready when they're fully yellow. We have sprouted coconut, which means the coconut was just left on the ground to sprout. See, it starts sprouting a completely new coconut tree but inside of here is like a coconut sponge cake because it ferments the, the coconut water ferments and it's like a sweet salty delicious coconut sponge cake never tried super 
excited. This is a fat Thomas mango. I mean, it's like 10 pounds. That's a big one. Tons of burro bananas. Really excited for these sweet little babies. Look how cute they are. And these are sugar apples, also sometimes called sweet sop and oranon. They're in the sour sop family, but oh my God, they're so sweet and delicious. These little footballs are sapodillas, and these big ones are mame sapote. A lot of people call them the sweet potato pie fruit because it's orange on the inside and it tastes like sweet potato pie. This is egg fruit, which is called egg fruit because it has like a dense consistency to it, almost like an egg yolk when it's cooked. This is a black sapote, and this is called the chocolate pudding fruit because it's black on the inside when it's ready and it tastes like chocolate pudding. And this is a jackfruit. Many of you are familiar with jackfruit because a lot of plant-based people use it as a meat substitute. It smells so good already, holy crap. And it's already really soft and ready to eat, so we might bust that one open today. And look how cute this little shape. It came in a heart. Guinepas sort of tastes like lime, like a sweet lime. Wow, so grateful. Thank you again, Fruits and Roots. This is not sponsored at all. They just wanted to send me this as a gift and I could not resist but to promote Fruits and Roots because it's such a generous gift. So if you're looking to order some fruit. Okay, speaking of new things, more new things are coming. There are so many new things coming and it's really exciting. Just got dining table and dining chairs. I just finished processing like 40 orders that are gonna go out tomorrow. And now I'm gonna show you the garden. Here's the progress report now. Everyone that was in there, with the exception of those four tomato plants that are still in there, has been put into a plastic cup or a larger pot. So the corn is over there, there's the two kales, here are the cucumbers, and squash, tomato, squash, squash. You want me to throw the ball? <laughs> Gosh, go get it. <laughs> okay, let me continue to show them the garden, please. Thank you. You better not go in my pollinator garden. She's been doing that a lot. Okay, so anyway, so I'm glad I had those, but I'm gonna go to the store and get more pots. Oh goodness, she's back. get it so yeah everyone's doing really great this weekend we should have raised beds so everyone will get a permanent home oh goodness can I get anything done here we are I have busted open a meme sapote which is also called the sweet potato pie fruit it's Look at those teeth marks. Oh! It's a weird consistency, but the sweetness is good. Like, I think if you just keep eating it, it'll grow on you. I got a little bro over here helping build furniture. Say what up. He built the dining table. It looks great. He built one of the chairs, and he's working on the second one right now. It looks like Indy just got told who the boss is of the house because Ruby took her bed and has been there for the past like hour. So I'm just sitting here doing work. I ate some delicious fruit for breakfast. I opened up a meme sapote, a couple of them. The seeds are absolutely beautiful. And I put them in a smoothie with frozen banana. It was absolutely delightful. I opened up a sugar apple, also called a sweet sop, delicious. I also had some pink guava. Oh, such good. Okay, we have gotten lots of gifts in the P.O. box and it is time to open them up, which means it is another mail time. Say hello, Lil Bit. Lil Bit has come to help us pick up mail. Indy is helping as well. This is how it is all day. Okay, 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 no fighting, go. And do not follow her, let her be. 
All right, y'all. So let's go from little to big. So we have a tiny little purple package from school. Excuse me, I'm gonna need everybody to cooperate, please, for mail time from Beautiful Flaws. Let's see what Beautiful Flaws has sent us. Ooh, y'all know I love some crystal jewelry. Thank you for making such amazing, helpful, inspiring videos. You're amazing, I'm so happy to come across your channel. I've been watched you all day and haven't missed a video since. So we have a wire-wrapped copper, two stones, especially for me and Matt. Rose quartz for me and a fist for Matt. Stay blessed. Thank you, beautiful flaws. This next one is from Chelsea. I love the packaging. Wow. Dear Earth Mama Medicine, I'm so happy I was able to come across you on YouTube. Continue to have authentic, true to yourselves. Keep building your empire up. I have a business where I make dream catchers and jewelry. And seeing you build up your business is inspiring to me. I wanted to send you a customized dream catcher. Congratulations on the new house. Oh my goodness. I love this. This is so sweet. It's a beautiful handmade dream catcher. One of my favorite colors is burnt sienna and check out the little new home Decorations it says new home so sweet handmade with love. I really appreciate you check out the Instagram If you all want to check out her handmade dream catcher designs. Thank you, Chelsea All right now we have something from Om boho Ooh. I hope you love your new bag and jewels. I cannot wait to see what you get up to with them. Love, Fran. Ooh. Oh, it's a tote bag. Yes. Y'all know me. This is totally my style. I just love that y'all pay attention. I can take this to the grocery store, put my vegetables in it. And there's also jewelry. These little spiral earrings with tiger's eye. And it looks like another pair. A spiral ring. How awesome is that? All right, everyone, I'm back. And since this is the never ending vlog, I have a mail time part two because right after I filmed mail time yesterday, I went and got another stack of mail from the PO box. So let's see what we got. These smell delicious. Oh my gosh. Three big soap bars from Koi Essence. And Koi has let us know that you can get a discount by using the code EarthMamaKoi. Four bars for 20 bucks. Ooh, I recommend you go check it out too because these smell amazing. Think you're amazing not only because you are so knowledgeable and informative, but real. Stay that way. Please accept this housewarming gift. I think you'll like them. These soaps are from my store, Koi Essence. I am a micro business and one of the vendors at the Athens Farmers Market on Saturday mornings. Four bars for 20 bucks. Earth Mama Koi is your discount. Thank you so much, Koi Essence. Wow, this packaging is awesome. We would like to express our gratitude and appreciation from Buesha. Check that out. Wow, y'all know I love a good sustainably packaged in glass product. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love this packaging. So I have the Awaken Energy Balancing Room Mist. It has Florida water, rosemary, and amethyst. Renewal, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and allantoin. Ooh, it's a facial serum. Sounds like I could definitely use that. The Luna Balancing Facial Oil with Tamanu, Blue, Tansy, and Argan. The Radiance Nourishing Body Butter, Shea, Mango, and Kupwachu, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Amazing, I can recycle all of these bottles. Thank you so much, Fuchsia. I cannot wait to try this stuff. Oh my gosh, more soaps. <laughs> Y'all, we are going to be so clean. <laughs> oh my God, I love soap. Okay, just because you saw us get this much soap, if you're a soap company and you wanna send me soap, don't hesitate to still send me soap because we can always use more. Wow, these are beautiful. Oh. That was the oatmeal honey. Beautiful soaps. All natural herbs and oils. We love your YouTube. Peace and blessings from Urban Eden. Thank you, Urban Eden. Thank you. Let's see what this is. Dear Valadia, I hope you love the cookies. Roberta. Cookies. Uh-huh, and see, Matt was at work yesterday, but now he's here, he's trying to hide from the mail time segment today. Don't be sending your gifts to Matt, send them to me. Cause now that he got some cookies, he's over here looking at what we got. I got cookies. I got cookies. Oh. 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 Dr. Norm's C cookies, because y'all know 
ever since we got banned, I'm not talking about any more sensitive content. But you can see, oh yeah. And I think they gave me a link, so I'll put that below. These look amazing. Let's try one, what's this one? Peanut butter chocolate therapy. Hey. Come over here and try one. What you eating on? Jackfruit. He's eating on jackfruit. Here. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay, they did it up. One thing about peanut butter, when it hits you, feel no pain. Can't control your brain, we know better than that, that game. And we ready for that. Chocolate chips are headed to pack. Wow, this is delicious. Thank you, Dr. Norms. If y'all want to try these cookies out, there will be a link below. All right, and last but not least, while I have you here, Matt, I already busted this one open because I was excited. We got a big goodie bag from Sojo's. Oh yeah, those are my shades. I be rocking those hard body. I don't even like shades, but I still be rocking those. Seriously though, I was not much of a sunglasses person, but these are fly. Here's my first pair. Ooh, and they make the world look so nice because they're like a chocolate frame. Yeah, they should look good. So everything looks a little orangey. It feels like a star. Mm -hmm. And they have this little one. geometric shape to them. And they her like favorite color, doo-doo brown. <laughs> and then we got another <laughs> pair from them in this fancy pleather case. Oh yeah. Woman in black. Those are the vibes. Everybody needs a classic aviator. Also got these really fun cat eye ones. Oh, they're cute. A very fun moment. One thing we noticed about Sojos was that they are like really well made. I've had a couple of pairs of expensive high-end sunglasses in the past and I just stopped buying them because I would always lose them or break them. And these feel like some $200 sunglasses, but they are not $200 sunglasses. Matt got some green frames. Very nice. Yeah. Really hot. So these are blue blockers, meaning they they block the harmful blue light that comes from luminescent screens. The oh, blue yeah. light that comes out of our phones and our TV screens and our laptops. When it's nighttime and it's black in your room and you just have that blue light shooting into your face, it's throwing your hormones off and making him think that it's daytime. Stress hormones rise and your sleep hormones lower, so now you're like wired. It just throws off a lot and I made a video about it. You should check that video out. But anyway, Sojo sent us some really nice selections of glasses. I, I love them. Now I'm actually gonna wear some sunglasses every so often. They're trendy, they're super well made. Probably the most well made sunglasses I've ever seen for their right. price. Even these. I have I have a $150 pair of blue light blocking glasses and these feel like even tougher than those. Yeah, I can throw them right now. Thank you so much, we really appreciate straight. it. All right, that's it, let's go get a garden update. Garden. The bush is thriving. The carrot mama has lots of blossoms now. Strawberry has new babies. These are all glass gem corn, which is rainbow corn, and they're all sprouted up now, so it's time for them to have homes. In here, I have put some black beans, and finally, there's one sprouting right there. And we have some pumpkins that I just planted yesterday, and we have kale plants, since only two of mine survived last time. That is from my coconut sprout. I'm just experimenting. There's a mango seed in there, and then here we have all all of our squash and cucumbers and those are watermelons and there's the tomatoes and here's some more squash the corns this is the black corn those are the kills back there that look like someone was walking on it and having a good time and then we have mrs. moringa doing really well and the potatoes are doing all right. Someone is still eating on my potato leaves, but I can't find them and I don't know what to do. All right, beautiful beings, thank you for spending some time with us today. Thank you again, Epidemic Sound, for sponsoring this video. If you need some music for your projects, Epidemic is the number one spot to check out. And I will see all of you in the next video. Peace.